Okay, guys, so here we are. We're ready to engage, I think, and we're going to engage on the planet. There it goes. It's in, I think it's in orbit. <laughs> Hello again, Geek and Geekettes. It's me, Kings, back with another episode of Planetary Annihilation. In the last episode, we looked at um, interplanetary nukes and nukes um, and how important it is to colonize other planets. In this episode, though, however, we're going to be moving up a notch. We're getting slightly bigger. We've got a different planet skin we uh, or biome, and we've got a couple of moons in there as well. So we're going to be looking at those Delta V engines, they're all important propelled engines that smash moons into planets to cause total annihilation. So let's get started, let's uh, let's kick it off. Again, here we go, this is a lovely look looking planet again, thanks to the creators at Ubisoft. Look at that, and then we've got the two moons next to each other on the other side. We've got a bit of water on this map, but uh, not enough for me to want to, uh, to get involved in that. So we're going to go, um, I mean, we got our two spawn points that it's giving us. We're going to go for number one. It looks there's quite a lot of metal there. So we're going to go straight in. You know the drill. First thing we build, metal extractor. Let's get that on the go. Let's get him straight off. That holding shift again, building up what we want to build. Let's get a couple of these built. And then we're going to go for a... Uh, I'll tell you what, we're going to go for a bot factory this time. I mean, we touched on it last time, but we're going to go, uh, we're going to go for a bot factory this time and see how that affects us. So again, like I said, whilst our guy is off doing that, uh, we've got two moons now. One is bigger than the other because what we're going to do is we're going to colonize the big one and then we're going to protect the little one and just put lots and lots of engines on it and fire it into the other planet. So that's the, that's the idea anyway. It could go horribly wrong and we're going to see how... Um, I've got a pretty good computer and we're going to see how that uh, handles um, planet, uh, how that handles the graphical uh, needs and uh, musts from this game as it is pretty demanding so we're gonna see if it does what it says on the tin on its trailer and it does look like it does or whether it's just a complete flop and it's just one hits into the other and nothing happens or it freezes or we're gonna find out so I haven't done this yet um, but I know that in order to do it uh, one of the planets if you go into celestial mode uh, it looks like both of these planets are big enough to smash into this planet here. These uh, little icons here will tell us how many Delta V engines or Delta V engines uh, we need in order to, to propel it into this planet. I think three is the minimum. It has to be two, you have to go into your um, go into your system creator and you have to make it. Um, it has to be a radius of 200 with a mass of 1000. That's what I know so far. That's what I've, uh, I've researched. So let's give it a go. Let's, so we're kicking off like we did last time. We're building all these generators on here and we're going to get some more energy because we're going to need it if we want to get off this planet quickly. Now the idea is we could, with our first builder, we could build an orbital launcher straight away. But we want to we wanna keep the uh, the opposing AI away from us um, for as long as we can on the other planet. So we're going to create some sort of force here that's going to give them a bit of a hard time. So again, we're going to get this little bot to assist with this production line and it's similar with this one. Okay, so I have no idea where they are, so we're going to need to make an air factory as well in order to find them. So that's the next thing we're going to do, we'll get this guy to, after he's finished his jobs get us an air factory on the go these guys I mean they can probably build a few defenses like we know we need so once they've done their job we'll get a few outer defenses built which shouldn't take too much so there we go okay so we've got them building away now we haven't seen much naval f naval activity, so I might have to do uh, an episode showing you about the the naval capabilities. It's not used that much as the aircraft are rather overpowered in this game at the moment. All you have to do is mass bombers, and you can just bomb an entire base, uh, depending on how much anti-air they have. Um, but if you're combining air and land, then you shouldn't really need naval. 
Um, but we'll uh, I'll do a a planet with which is literally a hundred percent water, and we'll see what we can do with that one. So we've got to get a few fireflies on the go. We're gonna get our guy here to assist with these guys here. In fact, no, we're not. We're gonna get him to build a few more energy plants as we're gonna need those. And then we're gonna need a few of these, as we know. And probably a metal extractor, uh, a metal um, metal storage as well. We'll get two of those. Why not? Okay, so we've got our first drone here. We're going to send him off to the right-hand side. Have a little scout round. So we've got this nice ravine here, which looks pretty good. I mean, that's that's pretty damn cool. I mean the thing that the moon that we're going to smash into this planet is going to make a lot more than a crack. Can I imagine? I can assure you that. So at the moment, oh okay, there's there's something. We found something. It looks like we found the enemy base there. So it looks like they're quite close again. So they're going to be attacking from the south. Um, let's see if we can discover a little bit more of their base. In fact, what we'll do is we'll keep one of those. We'll keep one of those behind. We'll keep. In fact, we'll keep both of them behind. We'll use these. We'll utilize these later, we'll put them down over here. And we'll get these air defenses, and I'll tell you what, we'll get some air defenses, but we'll also get some... I'll tell you, we could build another builder now, I imagine. Yeah, let's get another builder going. And we'll build some bots as well, because we want these bots to defend. We need some defense. So we'll get 15 bots being prepared for the defense. Now, one thing that a commander can do is he can actually capture underwater. He can go underwater like a submarine can. He can go underwater and capture these metal extractors, which is quite important. Now, however, if we are going down that way, we're going to need to make a line of defense, which is what we're going to do. We're going to get some uh, walls down, probably get some defenses down as well, as well as some men to defend. Right, there's a builder we got spare. So we'll get him utilized. We'll get him started on a probably some sort of laser defense turret and we'll stick that there, we'll start making the defense here I'll get one of the builders off him because I believe the commander gives more energy from his energy gun and we'll get him helping the little guy over here as you can see the bots look pretty cool like little mechs, little army mechs and we're gonna get him down to defend the builder just in case he gets into a bit of trouble because the last thing we want to do is start losing builders so in this, I think, because where we're going to be leaving the planet fairly soon, we're going to see if we can push forward as much as we can, set up defences as we go, so we have we, we, we give us some, ourselves some time um, to defend if they do start attacking, which they will do, and uh, obviously. Um, right, so these guys have finished their job, so let's get the commander, let's get the commander over here to start on his jobs. So again, holding shift. can now start doing that so he's doing that so we're gonna go one of these all the way around some anti-air just behind for good measure and let's get him down on the action as well so in fact yeah so we're gonna again we don't want to spread our resources too thin but I am gonna get a few more energy supply points before we start thinking about an advanced factory which is probably what we're going to need uh, we're going to need to put um, an orbital launcher, we're going to have to buy two ASUS's because we're going to want to get to both the planets at the same time and start building on them so this is where it really would be nice to have a second player because you could one person could be co concentrating on holding the enemy off as long as they can on earth uh, and the rest can be thinking about what they're doing on other planets right so Let's get him started on those few energy supplies. And then we'll get an orbital launcher built. Okay, so they're actually attacking from the other side. So it looks like they've walked around the map the, the other way, it looks like. So that's a bit worrying. Um, is he still alive?
Let's have a little look. Yeah, he's still alive. We'll get these little drones to pick him off. I don't like seeing that. So. So it looks like they're going to be... We've got this big mountain kind of ravine here to act as a protection. Do you think we're going to need some sort of radar as well to protect us? Looks like we've been under attack already, which we've missed, uh, which is not a problem. Oh, okay, so... Right, they're now attacking from the top, so we're going to have to split our forces in half. Let's get some of these bots up the top. It's not a problem as these anti-land turrets seem to be holding them off. But just to be sure, we'll get some of these guys over to defend. Our commander is there, not doing anything, so he's going to get over there and help build that. Meanwhile, I'm going to get another builder, I think. So we do really need to start thinking about, I think, to be honest, I think that's probably enough in terms of defences that side. So let's get this thing finished. And we get a builder to start building some sort of defensive turret up here. So we're going to go for um, probably one here and get a few more anti-air turrets wherever they are. There we go. So one here, one there, and one there. So that's both our sides covered. I mean, they're, look, they're attacking from that side now. So it's uh, all over the place at the moment. So one, two, three. Right, so our orbital launcher has just been destroyed. Okay, right. Where is our commander? He's over there. Let's get that orbital launcher started again. So we're going to get off this planet as soon as we can now, I think. Um, this is, uh, they seem to be attacking from all sorts of sides here. Um, so we're going to get all our, we're going to, we're going to now Dedicate all of our time and energy into getting off this planet. I think uh, it's a given now that we need to leave. Looks like our defences are holding up strong here. Once our turrets are up we should be okay. As we can see, the AI is still pretty smart. They're not attacking f from o the obvious uh, main way. They're going round. They're doing uh, ups, uh, flanking from the top, as you can see now. Nothing, obviously, to worry about. Um, now we got those turrets. I'm going to get my commander involved now. Think about defending here. And um, we're going to get a few of these turrets down because. They're clearly the better turrets for the job. Right, and we're going to get our Asus, Astru, Astrus built. Let's get these guys down over here. Okay. So they're attacking again. Commander is there. So we can see that the bots aren't exactly the best units to go with, but <coughs> excuse me, um, they are pretty weak, I think is the term. Right, so. Our commander is having none of it. Okay, so our orbital launcher is almost ready. There it is. So we're going to take our commander straight out of there. And pick him up. Alright, I think it would be wise to get a vehicle factory now. 
as they are just non-stop attacking, worse than last episode. Come on, pick him up. There we go. Okay, this is a bit buggy. Come on then. There we go. Okay, so he's moving down to pick him up now. There we go. Okay, with some units over here. So at the moment, it looks pretty good in terms of our defence. So we're just going to start ploughing some vehicles in. So we'll have our vehicles down the bottom here, and we'll get some bots up the top to defend. But I mean our defensive structure so far seems pretty strong, so we're going to get out of there. Now the first moon we're going to go to is the larger one, because we want a larger planet to colonise on first. But we're going to be, it's almost going to be simultaneous, we're going to go straight over to this planet here, uh, the moon here. And the next thing we're going to buy is another Astruce. And we're going to do exactly what we did last time. We're just going to cover the planet in, uh, in different things. Look, look, we got some bombers coming in now for a strafing run. No match for the defences. So I'm just going to use my builders here to just go crazy on this. In fact, what we're going to do is we'll get a probably advanced, well, we do an advanced bot factory. And we'll get all the builders on that while we're moving to the other moon, which is not going to be too long. Okay, we've got some bots moving in at the top there. Ah, there's just no. Uh... So I think it's pretty clear if you want to defend your base, these double laser turrets seem to be the best. Uh, they seem to be one shotting the, uh, the normal bots. Now we've got a second Astrius here. Um, I mean, we could uh, let's take one of these bots and we'll take him over and we'll just start colonizing. We haven't got the time to be wasting on this planet, as you well know. They will uh, they will destroy us. Oh, we've got another little bot here. We could probably get him involved. So, right, <sighs> let's uh, we could start pushing again. I don't think it's necessary at this point in the game. We, we, it's obvious that the computer is uh, is over there. Now, where's those little raptors that I saved? Do, are they still alive? They, they've been killed. So they've been they've been killed off. So we're going to get a few more fireflies in. Oh, raptors, fireflies. So we get those in. Let's get this Astrius wherever you are. There you are. Nope, that's the other bot. Okay, and we'll get that to the small moon. So he's going over there. And we've got this guy over here. So down we go. We're going to land him. Probably a uh, safe bet would be over here. Around lots of supplies. So we've got another one going over there. And I think the last thing we're going to build, which is the last thing, is called an anchor. It's uh, a defensive satellite. I don't think you can move it from planets. It has to stay on the planet that it is being built on. I'm not sure, we'll try, um, but I think that's the idea of it. Um, and it gives you complete sight of the planet, uh, if, I, if I remember correctly. So, we've got some units here, we're going to fly them straight off towards where we know the enemy base to be. And we can see here that there's tons, they've got loads of stuff. So we just kind of unveil as much as we can. So look at that, so we got all of that, so they, we know that they're, all, they're building around this corner here. Um, 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 yeah, so we know that we uh, we need to get a wiggle on. Well, just all we have to do is make sure we're building enough tanks to hold off on the other two planets. Okay, so while that's happening, got the commander here. He's going to start straight away on getting these things built. I'm going to go, come on, shift. And then we can go like this. And we go vehicle factory, followed by a few energy plants.
that should do us nicely for that one Oh, over to the other planet it's just coming in now as we can see there it is so we're gonna land him right down about it doesn't really matter on this planet we're not really gonna be capturing any of the resources this is gonna be solely for evolving our um, our planet all right laser turret destroyed right it's going on down on the, on earth all right it's happening over there okay so we, they've completely destroyed our turrets on that side so they're really going for it um, on this side of the planet so we're gonna have to bring in some reinforcements over here we'll bring all of the guys down let's get a fabrication bot here I'll tell you what we'll do we'll, we'll bring back one of the we'll see probably got enough time oh, it's just the bigger moon that one there we'll probably bring back the Astrius and get him back to pick up a fabrication vehicle so we'll get him back there in fact we'll get the other one back as well while we are here so let's get him going to us here uh, smaller planet we need to start doing something on it so on this planet we're going to be doing exactly what we're doing we're going to get the advanced bot factory or whatever we're building and okay so as you see it's changed the camera angle I don't think there's a way of changing the view technically. But it's fine, we can this is fine. So we're gonna move our units. We're gonna keep yeah, keep them going there. Um get some bots on the go as well. Now the defensive satellite is up here. Okay, so it doesn't give us complete doesn't give us complete view of the planet, so we're gonna just move it overhead. Um, save us the job we were doing later. Okay, so just get these bots now building away some extra units. In fact, no, we'll. we'll uh, I think we are lacking in anti-air defence, so we'll get some of those built should be fine. Now let's hop to the next planet. How are we doing over here? I mean that's taking a while and this guy is busy over here. So a few more builders. We're gonna start evolving ourselves to the next level. But we need to do this quickly as we are slowly losing ground on our main base here. We've got an Astrius, I think that's back. Are we? They're both back now, so I can't see. Why can't we click on these bad boys? Okay. So I'm gonna. I've made a bit of a mistake. We're gonna send one of these to the moon because what's gonna happen is we're gonna get some fabrication vehicles here. But what we want is we're gonna make a few of them. So it doesn't now matter about what we've got on the moon, so we're going to send a bit of a stupid move on my behalf we're going to send them straight over to the small planet because I'm going to grab some small uh, fabrication vehicles and they're going to help colonize our other planet which is what we're going to need help with so you see they're moving into the bombing run so we're going to have to move our units back behind our air defenses which is what they're going to do here Oh. And we got them. Right, so we got lucky there. Got there in time. Okay, so we've got a fabrication vehicle here. So, uh, what we can start thinking about is we get a radar in there. So, if we get a radar in there, we can actually see where we're being attacked from. Might, might be able to last a little bit longer. Um, have we got some builders left? Yes, we have. We'll get, him to, we'll get them to assist on this, with this guy. Okay, let's hop back to our planet. This is where it becomes difficult, running three different campaigns on three different um, missions. Okay, so we've got these guys. Let's get that advanced factory built ASAP. I think would be a smart idea. Advanced factory down, followed by some energy storage is needed on this planet, definitely. Now, we're also going to get a few tanks, just for safe measure. 
um, as I'm uh, a bit sh um, and we're going to get some skitters as well. We haven't seen the unit skitter yet. It's a very fast, very weak unit, very similar to the drone um, that we were getting with the air units. So that's a pretty cool thing to have, especially if we don't know that they're colonising our planet or not. So we're going to stay. Oh, we're going back here. So okay, so they've, they're bringing. We've got the Astruses have turned up here. Our builder's still having trouble building that on his own. So as soon as that's built, we'll be able to start colonising that moon. But it's a bit worrying considering the what's going on on Earth. We could end up having to fight off. Um, them off the moon that we want. So look, now we've got a a radar up. We can actually see that they are slowly building closer, and they've got a lot of units building up around us. They've got some artillery on the mountain side. So at the moment they are moving in. So we have to be well, time is against us on this one here. So what I suggest we build is we get a few. Just only a few more. I think if we build some energy on this side, it might be able to help us just for the time being on the moons. Okay, so that's halfway done. We've got something going on over here. Okay, we've got some tanks built now, so that's a bit of defense. So, okay. Now, a few skitters, we're going to send them around the planet just to sit around. Come on then, skitter, off your top. And we'll send him over here somewhere. Same with the tanks, we we'll just drop them around. Just to make sure that we don't get an attack from other side, okay, we're being attacked at Earth, it looks like, no, just an airstrike, no, oh, hold on, okay, so we are now about to take a huge army, so this is it, I think, we're going to lose this base here on the bottom, we're going to give it our best attempt to defend it off, but it's looking pretty horrible, let's, um, let's get these guys building some defences, let's get them building them so fast. They should go up pretty fast. Let's hope that they don't attack yet. But as we're pretty... Just get as many tanks as we can. Everything we can. Let's get some bots in there. Let's get some artillery units in. Let's get everything we can. Just piling in. Because they are going to attack momentarily. Right. This should be almost completed. Yeah, we got about 75%. And we've got our planet here, which is not too bad. Right, where are we? We are... Where's our big dude? So, we've got that advanced vehicle now. We're going to get some fabrication bots in here. Let's get some more energy. Let's get these guys on energy. And a few of these, a few more of these. Uh, good measure. A few skitters need to be used. I'm a bit caught, I'm a bit concerned about what's going on over on Earth, so we'll have to nip back there quickly. Okay, so we've got a fabrication vehicle here, so that's that for us. Now we're going to build a radar straight away because I want to make sure that we're not getting uh, invaded. Now I'm getting concerned about our main weapon for today, which is this bad boy. Taking a long time, our, econ our economy is suffering. But they seem to be massing a giant force, so what I think we're going to do is if I get these guys here, we're going to start building some pelters just in range to hit them with some artillery on the side of here. 
So hopefully that should then give us a fighting chance to fight off this ginormous force that they're gathering here. This is the problem with the AI is they build so much stuff so fast. Now they've, they've, they're moving in now for the attack. They're going for the kill. We're going to struggle to defend this off. We're going to have to drag them back towards the... Uh, They've got lots of combat medic units in there as well. They're just bombarding here. So we can see that what we saw in the first episode would have been absolutely helpless here in terms of a defense that we could have, we uh, a defense uh, or a fight we could have rushed or attacked with. As you see here, it's a bit, um, my force is nothing compared to theirs. So let's just say that that's lost. Right, this has got to be done any second now. So yeah, we're going to get fabrication vehicles out of there ASAP. About eight of them. And we're going to have to think about what we can do with our commander and our fabrication vehicles. Energy is a must. A couple of energy plants. It's really important here. Followed by a deep space. Where are we? Deep space. Where are we? Come on. Deep space. Defense. Nope. So it's all going down on Earth, I think. Am I generally being blind, or do I not see the deep space? These are the fabrication vehicles. Ah, so the big fabrication vehicles can't build the these things. Okay, so they're doing that. So we'll get them to do one of those because we do need that to see if they're going to attack another planet. Right. So the first thing we're going to do on this one here is we're going to build. Um, well, we're going to start. Well, we'll start just by getting some metal things down here. while we're just waiting on our economy to sort itself out and then we're going to get some units because I've got a feeling that they're going to attack one of these in a minute back over to our main planet now let's just have a look at earth and see what's going on in there we completely lost it no we're still waiting for the attack they're just surging waiting surging which is fine it's just fine the longer the better in our eyes Okay, so now our economy seems to be boosting. Uh, we are going to start on our Halleys, which are the Delta 5 engines. We're just going to start putting a few down. This needs three, so the faster we get this down, the better. Um, so we're going to just stick three down there. And we're going to cancel these guys, and we're just going to get them to help ev all our efforts into these Halleys now. Um, as for back on the first moon. Our little, our little dudes are finished. I'm going to keep getting them to do this. I'm just going to send them on a long path here. Just round we go. Keep all that metal coming in. And how are we doing over this side? Okay, so we're, we're okay. I mean, yeah, Earth is still standing. We still have a base on Earth. I am going to now start chucking in some fireflies because I want to know exactly where they are. It's not going to make much of a difference. I mean, look at this. It's just disgusting. They have whatever you want to call this, some sort of ginormous force or just a hunk of metal that they're just... We're slowly peppering away. I mean, I've got some artillery units here which are thinning them out slowly which is um, well they'll uh, attack in a minute and we'll lose them so it's not a problem right the Halleys take ages to build so we're just gonna what I'm doing here is I'm building lots of um, engineers uh, or building bots here fabrication vehicles to and as you can see every time one of them starts work uh, we're dropping but because we are building energy on our main moon it's now supplementing the power from this moon to the other moon so it doesn't have to be on the same planet, which is good. 
So we're going to keep this up. We're going to keep building these plants here. We've got some guys moving in. I mean, this still looks pretty good. I mean, I'm going to get some more... Um, I'm going to get some more of these skitters because I think they're, they've they got to be around soon. They have to have attacked by now. Whether they're on here or not, I don't know. Oh yes, yeah, so they are actually on this planet. So what we're going to do straight away is we're going to cease production of these. This is bad. We're going to have to get a... Um, let's get a vehicle factory up first. Let's get half of these guys straight over there. I mean, we're lucky that they're not attacking these builders because if they attack the builders then we really would be screwed um, but we're just going to keep a couple on the Halley most of them on here and we're just going to build loads of anti-air and loads of tanks we're just going to stick them there and we're going to just do this, we're going to use the builders to mass produce these guys they're building turrets now so let's get rid of those so what I'm going to do now is it's going to take slightly longer. We're just going to put a few more of these down. And we're going to get him straight over there to, to, to pick off. We want rid of those turrets. Oh, which they've just bloody built. So that's going to be a pain. So we're going to get these. Right, so that's gone. We've got some advanced vehicles, which is, which is lucky. Lucky that we had the advanced vehicles and we did. Um, and we're just going to mass tanks now. We're just going to get loads of tanks. A few anti-air. And we've got these bots being built as well, which is which is all we need. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to literally go straight for them now. I'm going to find them. These bots move pretty fast. Um, and they look pretty cool as well. I mean, it's pretty damn sexy little look looking little things. So we're taking these things out slowly but surely. Okay, they're starting to build artillery. We're not having that. That's not happening. I mean, the damage that these bots do as well is pretty high. Get rid of this stuff. I mean, look at them. They're just plowing through one by one, thing by thing. So we're going to keep going. We're going to move this way as well. And we're just going to get rid find those builders that they're building and just destroy them. Okay, another little thing there. And we're just going to separate our forces out now. We're going to find that builder. And we're going to kill him. So let's do this here. Zoom out. Back to where we are. Okay, so. How are we doing over here? Where are we? Where are our builders? Still building away. Let's get some more energy going. Now what we can do is we can build a warp gate on here and move units to the moon. So I'm just going to briefly show you what this is because we're going to use this in a later episode as well. We'll add that to the pile and we're going to flick back over to the other moon. And meanwhile, while they're doing that, we're going to get half of these guys off here. We're going to build a little warp gate here as well. Now this is incredibly useful for when you're trying to defend two planets because you can basically halve your forces and then if one starts getting attacked and you need some more support you can use another one as almost like a, a like a stargate you can just bat them to and from find where the enemy are and kill them off but I s just a bit conscious that I haven't found this engineer yet that's building all of this stuff yeah look, there's more stuff they've got going on here I'm gonna just shred this just gonna concentrate our time time now. There's the warp gate. I mean they've got a warp, they've actually built a warp gate on here. Oh no that's ours. Of course it is. Silly me. So I'm going to build another one. So that was ours. That's gone. And we're just going to move some more units in. We're going to go for the this one here first. Bring some tanks in. We've got one Halley built so far. We'll start with the, the second one. Halley off uh, here. Come on, what are you doing? They're just getting themselves killed. So we'll move in here. 
and it's taking its time to clear these guys out. So now you right, you click on the uh, teleporter, you zoom out, you find the building that you want. No, so I think we must be destroyed now on Earth, surely. No, we're still alive on Earth, so that's crazy. So this is how I'm attacked. So look, we need to get to our other planet. We've right clicked on that. Once that's built, we can then start sending units across, which is great. Okay, so we got this little indicator says us we've got one Halley built, so that's good. So here we go. Grab our units. Let's get them to the other side. Let's get. Let's find these guys and kill them off. Let's find these blighters. Okay, so we've got some units here. So the builder is literally, whatever it is, it's just building around slowly. We can see that there's one unit here. So we're just going to move through. Let's get some, move some tanks through here. It's moving down. Finding this little... Moving across here as well. More. Where are they? So I think. I think we must have killed them off. It's not that much of a bigger deal at the moment because this as this asteroid is or planet moon is going to be used as uh, a weapon. So it's not the end of the world. We just need to find the builder that's building all these damn things. I'll tell you what we'll build. We'll build a some sort of unit that we can speed around. Let's get some skitters. We'll put them here. Uh, what's over here then? There must have been all of them, surely. Right, so now we're concentrating on all our efforts on the Halley. Get these vehicles, these little skitters to just sit over there. Okay, so let's just check on that other planet. I mean, it's just to keep us. This is just keeping us afloat. We got some units there looking after a place. But our main aim is the commander, so he's he's safe. That's all we need to know. Now this is built, so we'll zoom out. We'll go over here. And we'll right click on this and it goes into something a bit like Stargate Atlantis. So there we go. Boom! So we've got a little uh, warp gate there. Um, and I'll just use a unit here to demonstrate what happens. So he'll go there. Just trying to make sure that we've killed this bloody AI who's around here. So where's that warp gate? So here he goes. He's making his way over, and uh, he's going to go in there. So they normally automatically go up. So we'll zoom out quickly. We'll go straight back to other planet. Where is it? There it is. There he is. So we've just moved him back through there. Now we could move our commander across, but because he's already safe. That's all we need to know. So, where's the other Halley? The Halley has been successfully built, I believe. Where is it? Oh, no, we're on the wrong planet. There we go. So, we just need a third and final Halley to finish the job. There we go. Okay, so we're going to use the skitters that we've built here to just scout this planet again. I'm not convinced that we've killed it. I haven't seen a builder killed. But we're going to go back to Earth now because nearing the end, I've got to say, now we've built all of these drones. Now we're going to use them. I'm going to fly these guys around here. And we're just going to make a beeline straight for the main base. 
We're going to get cut down pretty fast. And there's a commander there. So he is there around this area. So we're going to have to blast the planet here. So let's get back to business here. It looks like we've cleared this out pretty well. I don't think we've got any uh, units that we need to worry about anymore. I think we've killed them all off. We've got some units spare here as well. Now, let's just get these out of here. And what we're going to do is we're going to move all of these units to the warp gate. Because the last thing we want to do is... These are our, our, our guys. These are We're looking after these guys. They're defending us. We don't want to sacrifice them to a to a moon, do we? Um, so we're going to pick them all up, move them to the warp gate. Not that though, we're going to need them, but just for now, we're just going to keep a few here as well, just to make sure. But I mean, Halley's going to be ready any second. We've got most of them ready. So we are almost set. After 45 minutes playing a match, which because there's no save function on this game, we are almost ready for the total annihilation of a planet, which is uh, this one over here. So, I mean, a nuclear bomb would be perfect now, because we could just kill off all of these units. But as they are not attacking yet, our artillery is just uh, kind of picking them off. I mean, they could kill us at any second that they wanted, but they've just decided not to. Right, they are bombing us, though, slowly but surely. They've got some, uh, obviously, some artillery moving in. But it's fine, because we are now ready to annihilate. So, we're clicking on here. We're going to annihilate. And we're going to click on them here. And we're going to click right on there. So... Gonna move over to here. The engine should turn on any second when they get to the right place. Where are they? There we go. So now we sit back and wait. I have the option to cancel, but I have no intention of cancelling. Oh look, we're getting destroyed on Earth. No matter. There we go. As you can see, we've been completely annihilated on Earth by this disgusting force of bots here. However, they don't realise they have an almighty force coming towards them. Now, I don't know if you have to build the engines for the Halley in the uh, towards the area we want to go so example because we want to go here I'm gonna go there and I'm just gonna build a Halley there as well I'm just gonna build a few here just in case because I think we're gonna have to wait for the moon to go all the way around I think we're waiting on the moon to go round. So we'll wait for that.
Okay, guys, so here we are. We're ready to engage, I think, and we're going to engage on the planet. There it goes. It's in, I think it's in orbit. It's going for... What looks to be, it seems to have... Oh, no! We've blown ourselves up! That's it! So it's blown ourselves up! That's catastrophic! We've annihilated ourselves! So we've completely blown up our own bloody planet. So there you go. That's how you don't use the planetary annihilation uh, Delta V engines. You can see here that they've swamped us. They've got everything they want. And we could have won... But we did it wrong. I'm. There we go, guys. We'll be looking at theirs. How do you do it? You have to make sure that you click on the right planet. I clearly didn't. And it's killed myself. So, I hope you enjoyed it, guys. And click like, subscribe if uh, you enjoyed it. And uh, stay tuned for the next episode. Bye-bye.